What's up, YouTube? This is another episode of Bry's on Aquatics. ASAP Head Info is the AKA. Coming at you here with uh, a kind of video I haven't really done in a while. Um, I'm currently walking through a set of my local woods, heading down to the creek. Uh, and I figured I'd just uh, do a quick little vlog type video. Um, I'm coming down here to collect rocks for a. Uh, wait, let me get these thorns out of the way. Uh, okay, whatever, I'll just walk through them. Uh, I figured I would just, you know, do a little vlog type video, uh, collecting some rocks down here for a special tank that I'm setting up. Uh, it's a secret tank, so I can't really tell you what it is. But, uh, it's, uh... It's going to be a pretty sweet tank. It's not going to be set up until it starts to warm up. There's a reason why it can't be set up until then. Uh, but obviously, I'm, I can't really tell you anything about the tank yet. Because it's going to be something big. Uh, it's going to be going in the 100 gallon long slash 110 gallon long. I don't entirely know what the exact uh, gallonage of it is. But the calculations come out to 110, but I think it's uh, technically by uh, standard, it's 100 long. But uh, yeah, so flip the camera around here. So here we are. Uh, in the fall, the creek kind of goes a little slow. Um, that's just because it's not raining quite as much. And... Uh, you know, other things, uh, all the leaves falling from the tree often clog parts of the creek. So, uh, yeah, this is my little honey hole. This is where I get a lot of stuff from. Uh, good rocks, good fish, lots of stuff here. Uh, but today I'm just after rocks, and, you know, if I'm lucky, I might find a nice piece of driftwood. Um, right down here... Let me zoom in here for you. Right there, uh, that's where I was doing all my ASAP tackle videos. Uh, y there used to be a giant tree going from here all the way down to there, but uh, that's gone now. It rained so hard it took like a two-ton tree uh, and just swept that thing away. Um, but, yeah, so I'm not really going to film too much on this area just because there's nothing really to film. i got to walk over to my rock collecting area so i'll uh, be back with you then i'm probably going to be filming other things here as well but uh actually let me show you this real quick uh just a little bit of the urban biodiversity that we got here in my state of north carolina uh, let me zoom out i didn't realize i was still zoomed uh right here that is the print of a uh, great blue heron uh, they come here and fish. We also have kingfishers, all sorts of birds of prey like uh, peregrine falcon, red tail, and red shoulder hawks. Uh, you know, a lot of stuff here. So, yeah, anyways, I'll keep you all updated if I find anything. So, I guess let's get to the rest of the video. Alright, so we're here over at uh, what I thought would be a pretty good rock collecting site, but uh, after further investigation, I didn't really find any good rocks. I thought I found a real good one over there. I can zoom in on it. Uh, that thing right there. Uh, I thought that was rock, but I got closer. It was just a big piece of, uh, just a big piece of broken cement. So... But I'm over here. Uh, I want to see what you guys think. Uh, once I entered this area, um, I found this stuff. I have no idea what it is. It's just growing on this rock. Um, I took a little chunk of it off. This is what it looks like. It smells uh, vaguely of kind of a mint thyme sort smell. Uh... It has a, you know, it just has a very herb-like smell. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's very, it's pretty soft. It's kind of like, I don't know, I'm trying to think of a good thing to 
to see what it is, but it's growing all up the side of this rock, spreading all the way down to here. Uh, there's some dead stuff down there, same, same plant. Uh, but yeah, if you guys know what this is, let me know, because I have no idea what this thing is. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to continue on my rock search. Uh, I'm going to see if I can find any nice-looking smaller rocks over here. Uh, like this one. This one looks all right. I might take this one with me. Yeah, I'm going to take this one with me. Uh, you know, so. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get any last rocks that I might want from this area, and then I'm going to move further up the creek. Uh, I'm not going to go too far up the creek today. Um... It's just too late for that. Um, it's going to be dark here in a couple hours, so I still got to walk all the way back. Uh, so, yeah, I guess I'll see you whenever I get some more rocks. Uh, so, yeah. Alright, so here's just a random little thing. Uh, this is how I got across the creek. There's this giant uh, fallen tree that I walk across. Uh, I might not talk too much while I'm walking across here because I do have to focus on my balance. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to push this off, though. Yeah, that was in the way, so it had to be done. Um, but yeah, I just had to turn back because I have to be on this side of the creek to... Uh, get to the areas I need to go to. Uh, the water is a little deep today, so it's been a little bit tougher to get to the areas, but uh, it's all cool. It's all cool. I got a little bit more time, so yeah, we're across the tree now, so I guess I'll continue once I find some more rocks. Oh god, so a bit of a sad day here. I was walking back. Um, uh, walking back to the exit area, getting ready to leave, uh, pick up a few rocks that I saw on the way over. Uh, and I figured out, or I figured I would just come over here and check out my old main fishing hole here, uh, which was originally the deepest area of my creek. And uh, came over to uh, a whole lot of disappointment. This place used to be about four feet deep maybe more uh, and now as you can see you know it's uh, you know it's an inch deep uh, there's a couple deeper areas like right here it's kinda hard to see just cuz all the glare and water flow but over there is kinda deep but uh, this was originally my sunfish honey hole uh, this is where I'd catch all my uh, sunfish uh, if you remember back in my ASAP Tackle series, uh, the few episodes that I actually had, uh, in one of them I, I put a picture up of this huge uh, red breast sunfish, um, and this is where I caught him. He was uh, caught him right around that area, uh, but you know I doubt him or any of the other fish that I was gonna try and pick out once it starts to get warmer uh, I doubt there any of them are here anymore so uh, I'm gonna have to start searching down the creek uh, down that way and see if I can find any more deeper areas cuz that's probably where they'd be uh, not to mention there goes all my catfish as well we had a flat bullhead catfish which is a uh, particularly I guess uncommon species uh, it's not nearly as uncommon as like snail bullheads or you know anything like that but uh, it's not nearly as common here in my state um, so yeah I guess all that's gone now so that kind of sucks I'm hoping over there in this area right here is still deep uh, it looks like it's still deep but I'm not sure um, so I mean, I guess I'll just have to check that out. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll probably only be like one, maybe two more clips. Uh, and then I'll be showing you everything that I picked out once I get back home. Uh, oh, actually, here's some more prints of the uh, great blue heron footprint. 
Uh, this is it compared to my hand. It's about the same size as my hand. There's another one over here. So uh, hopefully that's a good sign. Hopefully that means that there are still fish in here. But I kind of, I kind of do doubt that there's still fish in here. But I guess we'll just have to see once the summer rolls in. So stay tuned to ASAP Ped and Foe slash Bryos on Aquatics for uh, some of that. Um, so yeah, I guess let's get to the last few clips, uh, and that'll be it for this video. Alright, so now we're back to looking at my ugly mug. Let me get the camera a little further away from my face. Uh, it's getting a little crunchy over here. But uh, we're heading back. Um, I'm going to get to this little rock pile that I saw, and I'll probably be picking out some rocks from that area. Uh, I'm coming right up on it, um, but uh, yeah, I guess that's really been it. I only found one decent rock of, you know, that even resembles what I've been looking for in particular for my tank. Uh, so today has been pretty dry, not as in the weather, I mean just of my findings. Um, but yeah, there's... Sorry, just looking down at a pile of rocks that's down here, but here, let me flip the camera. Uh, here's a little pile of rocks. Uh, I'm going to see if I can pick out a few of these. Uh, I want this one right here and maybe a few others, but uh, yeah, I guess that's really all I'm going to show for now. Uh, I'll get back to you guys once I get back to the house and uh, have unpacked all my things and cleaned them and whatnot. So... Uh, yeah, I guess today's been a pretty disappointing uh, outdoors adventure day. So, yeah, I guess stay tuned to ASAP Head Info. Stay tuned to this video to see the rest. Uh, so, yeah, let's get to looking at some rocks at my house. All right, guys, so we are back from our little rock collecting trip. Uh, and, you know, this is what I brought home. As you can see, I brought home a lot. Uh, a few of these rocks, a couple of the larger ones, uh, I actually got once I got back to the house and I found these in my yard, so I figured I'd take them. So I'll go through the rocks here. Um, so this one I took from the yard. Uh, this is the first or second largest weight-wise uh, this one's pretty nice. I don't exactly have a vision of what I want to do with all of uh, these rocks. Uh, I just have them and I'll work with them once I set up the tank. Um, this one and this one I took from my yard as well as this one. All the rest uh, I either already had or I collected. But the ones that I collected, this one, this one this one, this one, that one, this one, this one, uh, and those are all the ones that I collected, uh, all, all weighed about, I'd say 60, 70 pounds, um, I put all these things into a backpack and just made my way out of the woods, so that was pretty tough, but, you know, I made it, it sucks, but I made it. Um, so, I guess, uh, I'll show you the tank a little bit. I took everything out of it because, uh, I feared I would just, like, look at it as I, uh, you know, get all the supplies for it. I'll just slowly build up from there. Uh, but yeah, that's what it is now. It's empty. Uh, I took the canopy off of it, too. Um... But yeah, these are all the rocks. I'll probably end up having to get some more rocks eventually. Um, but for now, this is what what I'm going to be using. Some of these I might not even be using because uh, I don't want to be using up too much of the space in the water. But we'll just have to see. Uh, I don't know which ones of these I would be using or not. But I'm a little skeptical on this big flat one because it's... Uh, I guess it's similar to what I was looking for. It's large and flat, but 
it's uh, way too thick for what I wanted. I was thinking something more like that thickness, but it's actually like this thick. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this one, but if I do put it into use, that'll be nice because it's uh, a very nice, uh, I'm going to call it pink granite. That's what it looks like anyways. Uh, but yeah, most of this stuff is granite. Uh, you know, that's, this is granite right there. These are granite. Um, but yeah, there's a few rocks in here that I'm very excited to use. Uh, particularly this one. This is just a really nice looking rock. It's like completely flat on the bottom, so it stands up perfect. And I can really just use it however I want. Turn it, whatever. Uh, and it looks nice on basically any side, but... Yeah, I have a lot of other supplies for the tank. Uh, they were all laid out here on this towel, but um, I I took them all off for the video. I don't want to reveal too much of what I'll be putting into the tank because this tank is going to have quite a bit done to it. It's going to be a very cheap and simple, low-tech sort of tank, but uh, you know, there's still going to be quite a bit of stuff that are, that's going to be added to the tank. Um, so, I guess that's really it for this video. I don't know what else I would show you. Um, actually, one other thing. This rock right here I've had for a while, and it's been in tanks before. But recently I took it out and I haven't used it in a while, and it's actually rusting. Uh, it's a rock, it's pitch black, it's light as air. And if you smell the rusting areas, it actually does smell like metal. Uh, so... I don't know what that is. If you guys have any idea what that rock might be, please comment and tell me. Um, but yeah, that's the video. So stay tuned to Briar's on Aquatics. Comment, rate, subscribe. Respect the hobby. Respect the hobbyists. And most importantly, respect the fish. I hope you enjoyed the video. And peace out.